Greetings from the nation's capital on the banks of the Rideau Canal, where we're getting set for a key matchup in week 16 of the Canadian Premier League. Nigel Ruud in the booth alongside Will Cromack as Atletico Ottawa prepare to face Calgary's own Cavalry FC. Well, they've made five changes to the team that lost to Halifax last Sunday. Into the back line comes Niebuhr McDonald. Verhoeven and Verhoeven are both in the starting lineup on the right wing, Jean Alessi Assi and Sam Salton. Cavalry FC, chance to go back to the top tonight should they win. Here is the lineup news. Just one change enforced because of the two match suspension for Maya Bevan, who was sent off last weekend. So a chance for Englishman Joe Mason. Further left for McDonald. For Zach Verhoeven. Trying to play him in and sort up. Well, is he onside? He is onside. He took a glance. Verhoeven and Salter. And Carducci didn't have time to react. And a perfect start for the home team. And let it go on. Salter again. Combination wasn't far from working a second time. And let it go. 1 2 0 in Calgary at Spruce Meadows. Bassett and Assi on target on that occasion. Camargo for Fisk. Looking for the back post. And just about enough away. And Nima McDonald. And Fraser Ebb was well forward as well. Hands on head. And it really should have been the equaliser. Mason got a push in the back, did he? Not according to the referee. Play on, and Sam Salter's away here. He's going to need some support. Bassett will be there or thereabouts, I would imagine. It's going to come the way to us. C took it first time. Had time to take a touch. Steady himself. Could have, should have been 2 nothing. Absolutely should have been 2 nothing, which is leadership. Really smart play in front of the back four, allowing others to go forward. Verhoeven and Bassett. Verhoeven again, what a live one. He's going to go for goal. In one in the corner. Goodness me. Zach Verhoeven. Just yes. the industry here. Yeah, sticks with it. This is what he's added since coming to the CPL. Who fancies it? Looks like a good angle for Ali Moussi, who's always too high. I think it'll make a big change to the way people like myself Yes. <laughs> Watch out for that in the coming months. Uh, Sergio Camargo looks for Mason. Mason. Side netting. Just getting a little life here. Moussi's going down the right-hand side there a couple times. Is their time for Cavalry to have one more opportunity at goal. Fraser Ed again looks up into the area. It goes. Uh, was there a pull on Ben Fisk? If there was, the referee didn't spot it. Shamin Shah, substitute for Cavalry, making his way forward. First touch off Sapater. Shum gets a second chance. Ed left footed into the area. Assi back doing some defending only as far as Intigny. Tigny takes the shot on. A little too high for the first chance to impress St. Beckford from the famous footballing Beckford family. Trafford into the area, it goes! And that was the chance on the head of Accio. Camden has plenty of options. Tigny, Beckford, Camargo, Moosey, all in the area, all waiting for it. Camargo, it's a lovely bat heel. And Camden, and trying to turn off the top with the crossbar from Beckford. And away at the end by Nino McDonald. And Cavalry are getting closer and closer. Is this the Hollywood moment they've been waiting for? Took a deflection. Back in it goes, needed the save, and Carducci. With six minutes to go, we'll see. Camargo, some, some great touches. Maybe 
Del Campo, Antonoro's making his way, Del Campo left footed. Powered away by Carducci, back to Del Campo, tried to curl one. Musi, he's got to get this delivery right, and just hope. Musi delivers, into the area it goes, and behind for another corner. That's it, it's all over. Atletico Ottawa, five home wins on the bounce. They are into the top four of the Canadian Premier League.